So previously I explained what the namespaces are in Perl, which are just a package keyword, but we haven't seen the actual solution. We saw it in the same file, what the namespaces are. Now you can do the same in two separate files. So again, we have the main script we have here, and we require the namespace lib.pl, which is just a Perl library, sort of. But in the Perl library, what we have in the, Perl, the other file, what we have is just a package keyword, and then all the code here done until one point, uh, one semicolon. Now, here you, you see that the names of the functions don't have any prefix. They are just uh, regular names. Same with the variable. Now we are already using use strict and use warnings because we are in this, this file, because we are Perl style. So we can declare this variable, uh, although global in this file, but uh, it won't leak out to the name, to the main script. And then when we require this file, Perl loads it into the memory. And now you can you use the functions with their fully qualified name. You can use all the functions here still, so it doesn't uh, differentiate between the functions. You can use the add function, the multiply function, and also the validate parameters if you need, but it do doesn't uh, enter, these functions don't enter the namespace of, of this main script. So if you have a calc library like this, and you have another that deals with inventory, then you will have an inventory double colon add and a calc double colon add. And for everyone who is using this, including Perl itself, it will be clear which add function you're calling. So that's basically how you separate and how you put uh, your code into a separate file. Now that's, that's how you separated the namespace, but how do you create from this an actual module so a module in Perl is just a file with this kind of content, is a package inside, it's a single package inside, that has the same name with the .pm extension, the same name as the name of the package. So in our case, I go to the next slide, the module is now called calc.pm, this is the name of the file, and the content is the same as we earlier. So you have package calc and then all the rest of the code. So that doesn't change, but because now we are calling it calc pm, the same as the name of the package, now we are calling it a module. And it also provides something that we didn't have earlier. So now instead of saying load this fi specific file that we saw earlier, so here we said require this specific file giving the full pass of the specific file. Now we, it's enough for us to say require calc, the name of the module. And Perl will look for this in certain directories and will load the module. I'll explain later where Perl is looking for these uh, files. It will look for a file called calc.pm and load that into memory. And again, you can use the names with their fully qualified names.